Hello, good afternoon. You're watching ITV News Central. Business experts in the Midlands say the Scottish referendum decision not to break away from the UK is good news for the economy here. The boss at this coffee machine factory in Birmingham, which sells to Scotland, welcomes the no vote overnight. He said customers around the world want to buy British, not English, and it's important the UK isn't separated. Uh, they like the fact it's made in the UK, very much so. They like the Union Jack flag, they want the British part of it, British manufacturing. It's nothing to do with England, it's British. That's the key. That's the core to the, the, the matter, definitely. A road in Shropshire has been closed off after reports a Royal Mail post box exploded. Mount Road in Oswestry is currently closed at the crossroads with Llanfillin Road and Racecourse Road. Police were called out to the area at just after 11pm last night. No one's thought to have been hurt. Officers say they expect the road to reopen uh, later this afternoon. A man's been arrested on suspicion of theft after CCTV was released of someone trying to steal a painting from an art gallery in Birmingham. The footage showed a man trying to take this piece of art, a sculpture commemorating the First World War. The man put it under his arm and was walking out of the Castle Fine Art Gallery in the ICC on Broad Street last night. They returned the piece after being challenged by staff. A 41-year-old man was arrested at his home in Smallheath earlier this morning. Some sport now, and Aston Villa manager Paul Lambert says he still thinks chairman Randy Lerner is planning on selling the club. Well, that's despite Lerner giving Lambert a new four-year deal this week. Villa are unbeaten so far this season, and tomorrow they're at home to Arsenal. And before we go, a heads up on ITV News Central at 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to be taking a closer look at Coventry's inner ring road, which is exactly 40 years old today. The two and a quarter mile roadway opened on this day in 1974 and to mark the occasion we've been catching up with the man behind the project. It was the first city to build a complete inner ring road. The idea was to remove traffic from the main roads in the, in the central area, introducing pedestrian precincts for the very first time. And I can tell you I've watched that piece in full and it is much more interesting than it sounds. It's well worth a look. Uh, time now for the forecast as we head towards the weekend. With the details, here's Janelle. Hello, the Met Office have issued a weather warning for us to be aware that there are some heavy and thundery showers on the way. They are going to be fairly scattered, but where they do occur, well, we could perhaps see some localised flooding. There's been plenty of showers around this morning already, mainly concentrated in the south, but they are feeding up to us here in the West Midlands. So for the rest of the afternoon, we are going to be seeing some heavy scattered showers, but it's also going to feel quite mild and muggy. Highs of around 19 Celsius. The weather's going to feel pretty close and that will continue on into tonight, holding on to some of those showers. In fact, some of them could even pep up overnight. Lows of 13 Celsius. It will be muggy, but going into tomorrow morning, those showers lingering on, but beginning to fade away by the afternoon. We'll be seeing some brighter spells. Highs of 19 Celsius, but things will feel fresher as we go towards Sunday. Well, that is it from us this lunchtime. As ever, there is plenty more, though, on our website. The address on the screen right now, itv.com forward slash central. Uh, we are back at six o'clock. It's me and uh, Samina uh, in the hot seat tonight. Until then, from the lunchtime team, it's goodbye. <laughs>